Hi, Poe Movies fans. I'm back. Uh, Susan Chekanowski from Poe Movies Social and the Social Media Manager. Um, I just wanted to answer a few questions because I was looking in the comments and I noticed that a couple of you had some questions and stuff concerning uh, my last video. So I'm going to start by saying, like, I'm I call my crows and sometimes they don't come right away. So I can hear them in the background. I'll call them. The first thing that usually shows up are blue jays, honestly, because they're in the same family and they know my they know my my call about as well as my crows do. So I'm gonna call. I'm gonna walk over here to the corner of my porch, and I know that they're off. Um, I know they're west. They're westerly right now. So I'm gonna call them towards where I heard them. Now there's a blue jay that's coming because I've already done a few calls. So the first thing that's going to show up is going to be the Blue Jays because they know. So I have to be very careful about how much I put out. If I put out a lot of peanuts, the Blue Jays will probably take them all. So <laughs> that's a little Blue Jay across the street there. It's waiting. So um, I called them and it might take them a little while to come. They might come in, it might take them like 15 minutes. I put some peanuts out there, but I usually, usually I wait and I don't put any peanuts out until my crows actually show up and they're actually sitting in that. You see that telephone pole behind me? That's usually where they sit. So the other thing I wanted to say was call them, be patient, they will show up. And I would say with, withhold food if you want until they show up and then put it out. They need to see you putting it out. So even if they kind of move away when you take it out, they need to associate you with the food, which is kind of really important. It's not, unless it's not important to you and then it doesn't matter. The Blue Jays are here. Um, so the next thing I, I've had some questions about too are like what to feed them. So. Peanuts are good if you're allergic to peanuts. Obviously, that's not an option. They do a lot of research out in Washington State on crows. I've read a, I've read a couple books. I've watched a couple videos. I mean, crows have been seen eating vomit. They've been seen eating all kinds. They're opportunists. So if you can't do peanuts and you're worried about squirrels or whatever, put out old cheese, old stew. I mean, they'll eat just about anything. They love old meat and they love cheese. Think savory stuff. They really like that. Um, and they love anything nutty, of course. But cheese, they really like. They really, really, really like cheese. So you can try that. You hear that? The Blue Jays are out there. And you hear all the crows in the background? They're coming. So just going to take a second. Boo! Boo! So they'll hear me, they'll come in. So you can feed them any of the things that I said, cheese. I take like, if we have old chili, I'll put that out there and they'll eat the old chili, the old meat. They like, they love old lunch meat. We've been catching mice coming in the house and traps lately. I put those out, they take, they go for the mice like first thing um, before they even go for the peanuts. So they're opportunists when it comes to food. So call them, don't be afraid if they come in later. The last thing I wanted to say was, um, let them get to know the sound of your voice. So mine will come and they'll perch in that, um, like in that telephone pole right there. And sometimes they'll be calling, they'll perch and they'll call their friends in when I put food out. They see me put the food out, then they'll call their friends to, to make sure that something's actually there. Then I talk to them. So I'll say, hey guys, go ahead and get it, go on. And like they know my voice. They actually know me so well, sometimes they'll follow my van around. So, but I just wanted to answer those three things. Like, um, you know, how long do I have to wait for them to come in? Well, they'll come in when they're ready to come in, but associate them with you. What can I feed them? And how should I call them? Make sure you call them in, in patterns of three or four. That, that's like, that lets them know that there's something here. I don't, I don't know what all they're saying. I just know that like, when you do it in patterns, that's a good thing. So if I'm like, see that as a good thing and they will come if I do it broken they will see it as an alarm you don't want to alarm them you want them to come in if you guys have any other questions please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them